Uh, hi everyone. Uh, today we will be discussing about strongly connected components in a graph. Uh, so, um, in strongly connected components, is a subgraph uh, in a graph such that each node in that subgraph is accessible by all the other nodes present in that subgraph. Secondly, it should not be reachable by any other node present in some different subgraph or some different component. But considering the edge direction as well. So if you remember from our previous video, uh, in weakly connected components, edge direction wasn't necessary. If you have an edge between two nodes, irrespective of the direction, we consider it as a bi-directional edge. But in case of strongly connected components, this is not the case. We would be considering the direction of the edges as well. And only those components uh, will be called as strongly connected components where we have directional edges where each node is accessible by any other node in the component and is not accessible by any other node from coming from a different component. So let's come back to our old example um, again a social media network. Uh, in this graph we will have uh, three strongly connected components but only two weakly connected components. So how three strongly connected components? The first component would be Mark and Dog because uh, Mark is followed by Dog and Dog is followed by Mark. Eventually they are accessible by each other. The second strongly connected component would be Alex, Michael and Brigitte because all these three are getting followed by each uh, are accessible by each other uh, and have bi-directional edges coming in and the third strongly connected component would be Charles, uh, a loop node. This is because though Charles is accessible by Michael, Brigitte and Alex through this edge but eventually Charles is not able to access these three nodes. So uh, as by the thumb of rule we know that uh, in any graph component the nodes should be for, uh, should be connect uh, should be reachable by every other node and they should be able to reach to them as well so hence in this case we will have three strongly connected components and as we discussed in the last video we will have two weakly connected components